Okay, Boss Dog Coin Rings here. Finally got some pennies and nickels to search. I took the tops off of them, make sure they were they were circulated. Uh, the lady at the store at the bank said that they no longer get new pennies. They they got new pennies for a couple months and then they stopped minting them. So all they get now is uncir or all they get now is circulated pennies and nickels. So I've already looked for enders and look right here. We've got a silver ender. There's a silver ender. This one here looks like a silver, but I can't see the date on it. I can't see the date on it, but it does look like silver. I don't know. It looks like a 1970, I guess. We definitely have a silver ender. Over here, I've looked for enders on both these boxes of pennies, and we do have a weak penny ender, if I can find it. Here it is right here. There we go. We have, we have a weak, weak cent ender right there. So, there we go. That, those are the only two enders I could find. So anyway, we're going to search these. We're going to search these boxes of pennies and nickels, and I'll get back to you and, and show you what we find. Okay, I've searched through the box of nickels. Well, not all of them. I, this is the 34th roll, the one that had the silver ender on it. And I opened this box, roll up, and I thought maybe I'd go through it with you on video. Uh, the 34 rolls I have gone through, I have, a few, I have found a few treasures up here which I'll go over at the end of the video. But I just opened up this roll with the silver ender, and I'm going to go through this live with you. And here it is. Here's the silver ender that we saw earlier. And it's a 1945 P. 1945 P. So that looks, looks really nice condition, too, for a 45. So there we go. Let's see if there's any other treasures in here. I'll put that... I'll put that right up here, 45P, and we'll go through these. I, I go through every one of them. I go through every every coin. So let's see here. Go through here, and I'll see if there's anything special. Nothing there, 86P. Wait a minute. Ah, I did find something special here. No, that's an 86D. I'm looking for an 86P to go in my album. I got an album here. I'm trying to fill up, so there's I got a few dates I'm still looking for here. But anyway, uh, I go through each and every coin here to see if there's a, see if he has see if our our friend has any buddies in here. Nothing there. 2000. Oh, look at here. Got that one already. 1990. 2020D. That's a nice one, but I have a whole bunch of them, so I don't need any more of those. There's just a very few that I'm looking for here. It's just We're just... Take a look at that one underneath the scope here. I'm looking for a... There's a 1974P. No, I don't need that one. At the same time, I'm looking for some 2009s. Any kind of errors. Here's the 218D. That, that's an error when you hold it like this here you flip it over and if it's off center some of those 2018s are off center so any any 2018 d i see i line it up and then flip it over and we see if uh see if it's off center now there's my 2009 i keep all the 2009s those are very low minages so i'll keep that 2009 now that's a 2009 d uh that's that's most common 2000 P's 
they're a little bit less minted. There's some, there's a, a 2009 P. Oh no, that's a D also. Anyway. So anyway, I keep all the 2009s. Nothing there. Nothing there. I don't use that, can't use that one. Nothing there. Two thousand four D. I like to go through every one. I look at every one of them. Every single nickel. It doesn't. Looking for any kind of error. I kind of, I've gone through so many of them. I really know what I'm. I know, I know what I'm looking for. I know right away if I if it's something that's going to be. I, I need to look at it under the scope. But most of the time, uh, 2013 D's. I I don't. Uh, the D's are pretty common. The 2000 series of D's. It's the P's and S's that are hard to find. 2020 D. That's a nice looking one. 2019D. Okay, we're getting down a lot. Doesn't look like he's going to have any friends in here. 2018D. No. I always flip them over 2018D to see if they're off center. 2018D. Flip it over. Nope. Nothing off the center about that. Okay, well, it doesn't look like he had any friends with him. Like I said, there he is right there. That ender we saw in 1945P. Anyway, we do have some friends up here that I found in the box. That was the 35th roll right here we just looked through. After I get through looking at all the nickels in the belt, well, I'll come back with a recap and show you everything that I have found. So be right back. Okay, here's a recap of what we found in that nickel roll. We found uh, we found two. Nineteen forties. That's a nineteen forty plane. That's a nineteen forty P. And this one here is a nineteen forty. Nineteen for two nineteen forty planes. And we got four we got two. I mean, you got four 1941s, two 1941 Ds, two 1941 Ds, and two 1941 planes. So they're all they're all pretty well worn down. There's nothing spectacular about them. And then we found some in the 50s. We found, a, we, ha, we have some spectacular, a couple nice finds here I'm going to show you at the end of the video. But there's a 1951. 1951. We'll look at it under the scope here. 1951 S. So that's pretty nice. A 1951 S. How do you like that? That's pretty nice. Yeah. And then we got, we got two 1952s. Two 1952s and the. Two 1952s. One's a one's a 1952s, and the other one's a 1952. The other one's a 1952 plane with no mint marks. Oh no, both of them are s's. Two 1952s. So there you go. Two 1952s's. We got two 1953s. Two 1953s. Let's take a look and see what they are here. That's a 1953S. And a oh, two 1953Ss. We've got a 1956. 1956D. 1956D. We've got two... 1958. There's a D. And there's two 1958 Ds. I've looked for errors on all these 
these 40s and 50s. I didn't find any errors. This 1959, here's a 1959. Looks real nice right there. 1959. 1959D, look at there. It's pretty, really, that's really a nice coin. That's really a nice nickel there. It's got a lot of the detail on it. Now over here for a couple things that we found here. I found two 2009, 2009Ds, two of those. So I, I keep all the 2009. Now, I found two silvers. This this one here was the ender we talked about, 1945. Now when I, when I open up all my rolls, I turn them on the side and look at them. And I can usually tell if there's any silver in them. These, these silver nickels are, they're usually tarnished like this here. And they're, they're, they're a different color when you turn them sideways. But not this one here. This one here fooled me. I didn't see this at all. And I, 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 got, I got to it and I pulled it up and it was a 1942 P. And I thought, oh my God, look, at did I get lucky here and get like an uncirculated or something close to uncirculated? But as, as of course, as I started looking at it, I, all the details gone. Somebody took this and polished it. 1942P, highly polished. Look at the look at the look at the shine on that. I looked at that and I said, "Holy moly!" For a minute, I thought I really had something nice, but instead of having something really nice, I have something that somebody polished. But nevertheless, it's silver. That's what a a silver nickel looks like when somebody's polished it. So, we got two silvers, and we have this. Found this Guatemala, Republic de Guatemala, 1995, Guatemala, 10 centavos. I've looked this up on eBay. One of these coins in a very fine condition goes for $7 plus shipping. Now, I don't know if that would be, I don't know much about Guatemala coins, so I don't know if that's a very fine looking coin. It's, it's dirty, and I've looked at it underneath the scope. It has a few scratches on it, but I, I don't think it qualifies for very, it might qualify for very fine. But anyway, that's a little, so it's, that's a nickel. That's a, guat, even though it says 10 centavos, it, I looked it up on the internet. It says uh, uh, it's a Guatemala nickel. And of course, I found a nickel roll. So there it is right there, the same size as nickel. So that's why it was in the roll. But anyway, that's that's what we found in the in the nickel roll. Uh, I, I I found uh, I found a, a quite a few upgrades in my my album my my Jefferson Nickel album, 1938 to 2003. Uh, I don't upgrade my album unless I can see some steps. So I, I I look at the album, I look at the coins, and if I can see some steps on the back of them, then I'll upgrade my album with them. But if they if I can't see any steps on them, I just leave the coins that are in the album and and. Moving on. I, I don't have a lot. I, I got a few proof. I got a few I'm still looking for. And other than that, a lot of proofs, which I'm, I'm not going to find unless I find some proof sets. But there's still a few in there. I've got most of the, uh, you know, I'm, I'm still looking for this, what everybody else is looking for. 38D, 38S, 39D. Some of the, some of the harder ones to find. 1950, of course. 1950. 1955. 1958, 1959, some of the harder, some of the key dates, some of the key dates, some of the harder coins to find. But anyway, so I up, up, upgrade that album. So this is what we found. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. I'm going to be making more of them in the future, more coin roll hunting videos. Uh, please like this and subscribe to my channel. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to up, um, I'm going to close this video out and I'm going to I'm going to start coin, ho coin roll hunting some pennies. I got two boxes of pennies and I've already found an inner ender in one of the boxes and I'll start hunting those. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And this is Boss Dog Coin Rings. Have a good day.